So in this video, I'm going to be a bit doing a bit of a pruning and repruning on two of my Sarissa pre bonsai. So I last potted these about eight months ago in another video that I did. So I'll leave a link for that up above so you can check that out if you like. Uh, but yeah, they've been growing quite vigorously. And this was um, this one here, for instance, um, it's just a, a not even a real pot. Um, and starting to break apart, so I thought it was a good time to, yeah, take them out of these pots and start turning them into something more akin to a bonsai. So if you are new to this channel, I make a lot of videos such as this and bring you along my journey in bonsai. So if you're into that kind of content, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, hitting that little bell symbol so that you're notified with my future videos as I release them. It's a lot of roots growing around and then all of these suckers that start shooting up from all the roots. It's kind of cool but at the same time it's kind of frustrating because I'd rather keep all of the bigger growing into the, the branches that I want rather than having all of these additional things for me but anyway. And so I just want to get rid of all these shoots as I want this to kind of start forming its own root system rather than forming all of these new plants. Some of these roots that are a bit high up on the plant seems as though I have to go for a root ball that's a bit further down. Um, so I'm removing some of the, the high up ones, especially ones like this that had started to form its own little sucker because um, there's not any feeder roots high up there for me to, to kind of work with. Another sucker here that's just been coming up. Don't want. And more of these really leggy roots that, um, yeah, don't have any, any good feeders for me to really use. And coming from too high up, what will be the, the trunk now? Another branch here, get rid of that. So I'll probably keep a few exposed roots for now. The trunk line gets a bit thinner as I go further down here, um, where there's that big tap root. So I go a little bit risky and cut off that tap root. So the rationale for that being is that I just want to start to form a root plane somewhere up here, instead of having to have it so much lower down. So it'll be risky only having a few roots here, um, but, Ultimately, I'd rather having, yeah, I think it'll end up giving me a better root plane in the future. So, just going to trim back some of the length of these roots that do exist. So, I want to put this one in a bonsai pot. So, I've got a couple options now. I could put it in this large one. I'll end up having quite a, a spread of a canopy, so that could be appropriate. Yet, the trunk is really quite thin. So, the other option is to put it in this smaller sized pot. So, this one would give it a lot more room to grow. Um, yet given it is quite small, I might actually put it in this pot here. Right, so just putting a drainage screen down um, and then I'll put a little bit of soil at the base. Given there's no actual uh, holes in the bottom of this pot to actually wire it down with, um, it's just the, the one drainage hole. Um, so I'm just going to try and use the wire itself to, to anchor it down to the bottom of that pot. And given the flare in the tree, the front is going to be that anchor there with the, that you're viewing, given the branch and kind of moves towards the viewer a little. So now that I've got it sitting in the pot, I'm just going to put in some additional soil up top. I use some more porous material at the bottom of the pot um, just to provide extra drainage, but I found that a, a quite an organic mix it tends to work quite well for the, uh, the sarissas. There's a branch uh, right at the back front, so I'm just going to remove that. It's this little sucker coming up there and what I really want to have is kind of yeah a bit of a sweeping canopy on uh, on both sides there so I'm going to wire down one of these other branches on the opposite end just so I can maintain that um, sweeping kind of visual 
Just gonna get rid of some of these branches that I'm not gonna be using just to make the wiring process a little bit easier. And getting rid of this one here, just as that's gonna be um, effectively underneath where this branch is gonna end up. All right, so just sweeping that down a little. And this one here really doesn't actually need wiring, mostly just use it to anchor the other one, but apply the wire anyway. It's so got the yeah, structural kind of wiring there done now, so just going to prune back some of the branches I don't want before I kind of wire it all into. And a lot of this I'm just kind of pruning to form future branch pads. So So this one here, again, I just want to start, yeah, pruning things to a bit of better profile. This branch is just shooting up. Another one here that's, yeah, shooting up. Could wire them down, but um, I've got plenty of branches coming off on either side here, so um, it's no drama. Again, now I think that side there is probably a lot better as the as the front, so I'll go with that. I do like having the really long flare, but I want to link, bring it back a lot more into profile to where it will be in the future. So I'm going to cut this long branch back to there, uh, and this one here I'll probably cut back to about there. So yeah, really just kind of trying to, to make that flare and movement in the trunk for now. And then ultimately with time, I'll start developing a lot more of these kind of branching pads and that'll be it for now. But I'm just gonna start to, to work on this one now. All right, so start to rake away. Um, and there's really, just because of the, the pot that this was in, there's really not a lot of, of root structure to work with, given most of the roots were actually growing into the soil. With the roots that I have here, I just want to start to, to use those to form some, some nice nambari. So, I'm just going to get rid of some of these weeds and figure out which of these roots I want to keep. So, I've rinsed it out and in doing so, um, <laughs> found out that uh, these two were kind of joined there by a root, but end up being multiple plants. So I guess I'll try and make the most of that. So I'm just going to prune off this rotten piece of trunk. Some of these roots that I cut off that were growing into the soil. Just prune them back a little bit tidier. And this one here, yeah, being so small, really not a lot that I can do with it, but I don't want um, all of these branches coming out from the exact same spot. So I'm just gonna get rid of this bottom one. Um, Small one. Alright, so yeah, I'll just plant this um, like that and see what I get out of that in future. Which means that, unfortunately, this one is also rather small. Um, and it's got, the roots on this are really kind of wrapped around, so I'm just gonna start to try and get rid of a lot of the roots that are doing said wrapping. And just aim to, to keep some of the feeders, especially where it's more radial in direction. And again, just getting rid of some of the roots that shoot, to, um, just go straight down. Given that this is only half of the, the tree that I thought it was, um, quite small, so 
probably end up putting in, in a tranny pot. So I'm just going to start, um, yeah, I'm just going to prune back some of these branches just to, to really start pulling back into profile. So another really small one, just placing them in the kind of uh, position I want them sitting in these training pots and just burying them a little bit deeper in um, in the pot than I ultimately want them just so that there's uh, good coverage for those fine roots um, so they don't dry out So look, I hope you enjoyed this video or took something from it. If you have, then please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified with my future videos as I release them. But look, thanks for your time today. Enjoy. Bye.